gonna make some banana chocolate chip scones. I like scones, or is it scones? I guess it all depends on where you live. I guess I did some research and the first recording of scones or scones was in Scotland in the early 1500s. They were like griddle cakes then, so we've kind of changed them over the years, but I'm gonna start with three and a quarter cups of flour. And I have two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and one third cup of brown sugar. And those are our dry ingredients. And just mix those together. If I get this part mixed up, it'll be a lot easier on me later on trying to mix in all the other things. There we go. Now I have one and a half sticks or three quarter cup of very cold butter cut into small cubes. You can see I cut it into little cubes. Dump that in there. And now we want to work it now into pieces that resemble little lumps. You can do this with your hands or you can use a pastry blender. I'm going to start off with a pastry blender. I may end up with my hands. It all depends. I do it both ways. And this takes a few minutes. The butter will stick, so you want to just clean off your pastry blender every once in a while. And start again. All right, so that's about the way I want it. Now I'm going to add to this two mashed bananas. Make sure they're pretty ripe. You don't want hard bits. Two thirds cup of buttermilk. Now I didn't have any buttermilk and if you don't have buttermilk on hand, you can take regular milk and just add a couple of drops of vinegar and let it sit a couple of minutes and it'll get tangy just like buttermilk. It'll also get lumpy, so don't get scared. And I'm going to add one teaspoon of pure banana extract. Don't use the imitation stuff because it really doesn't taste very good. If you, if you go to someplace that sells good extract, you'll find pure banana extract. And that'll just bump up the flavor a little bit. So now I can take a wooden spoon and just start mixing it. Just get it all blended. I'm also going to add now one half cup of mini chocolate chips. I like the, the combination of the chocolate and the banana. And then we'll make a nice glaze for these later. You don't want to overwork these, but you certainly don't want to have big dry hunks in there because that won't work. Clean off your spoon every once in a while because that's where all the stuff is sticking. Mmm, that banana extract and the fresh bananas. Nice. All right, I'm getting close to now where it's pretty well mixed, and now I can probably put it on my counter and give it a little bit of a knead just to bring it together. Whoops, it's already halfway on the counter now. Okay. You can see there's still a lot of dry stuff at the bottom, so I want to get that incorporated before I move on. Just. Do a little kneading lightly.
one thing about scones is you can do so many different flavors with them. You can put fresh fruit in them. You can put nuts in them. You can put um, lemon curd in them. I have a great white chocolate and lemon curd scone recipe. It's just delicious. Okay, what I want to do is divide this in half. I'll work with half at a time. And now I'm going to flatten it out. Not too flat. I still want it kind of thick. It's going to drive me nuts. Okay. And get a knife. And I'm going to cut these into eight pieces. You can make these six pieces if you want to make bigger scones, but I, I don't want a big scone. I like a, I like a smaller one. You get all the nice stuff on the outside because they get a little crunchy. Now, a parchment lined or silpat lined or greased sheet, you can start putting your scones. There's one sheet, and I'll just repeat with the other. And then we will put them in the oven. I have to look at my recipe because I can't remember. And we're going to put them in at 425. And we're only going to leave them in there about 10 to 12 minutes. That's a pretty hot oven. So Like I said, 425, 10 to 12 minutes, and we'll have some scones and we'll let them cool off and then we'll put a really nice glaze on, which I'll show you how to make. The banana scones are out of the oven. Now I'm gonna make a banana glaze to go over them. In my bowl, I have a half of a ripe banana, which I'm mashing with a fork. And I also put in like a eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, just a little touch. And I'm gonna add like a couple of drops of banana extract. Remember again, the pure banana extract. And a pinch of salt. Get that out of my way, mix that up. And now I'm gonna put in one cup of confectioner's sugar. Kinda of blend that together as best you can. And I have in my little one, this is a one quarter measure cup, but I love these little cups because they also, on the, ins on the outside they give you liquid measure, on the inside they give you uh, tablespoons. So this is a four tablespoon measure and I've got just about two tablespoons of milk, which I'm going to add to this. I'm not gonna put it all in, I'm gonna wait and see the consistency. even add a little bit more confectioner sugar because that seems to be very, very watery. I keep my confectioner sugar in zippy bags. I find them so much easier to work with. So that was probably another quarter cup, maybe more. You know, sometimes when you're making glaze, there aren't any exact measurements. It's just kind of like go until the thickness that you want. This fork is not cutting it. So I'll go with my spatula. There you go. Now I can get all these sides down. I think I want even a little bit more confectioner sugar. 
again, you could put it on this way when it's really drippy and let it drip off the sides. And that's fine. I'm, I won't go any further than this. So that's probably another couple of tablespoons. That's yeah, a little better. And then I have a glass with another zippy bag in it, which I'm going to use as my piping bag. You don't have to use the, a piping bag. You can just, you know, use a spoon and glaze away. But I like playing with piping bags. So I'm going to put all of this in my bag. go, seal it up, make a little cut on the end of the corner. Now I can just start glazing my scones. And if you want to take it one step of decadence further, you can put a couple more chocolate chips on top of each. That's the way I like it. Anything with chocolate on it is delicious. And as you can see, I'm doing this on a tray, over a tray, with, lined with wax paper to catch up most of the things. So I don't have a lot of cleaning up to do. I don't mind cleaning the, the rack. The glaze is really melty. These scones are still a little bit warm but I think that's kind of good when you're putting glaze on them. Here, there, and everywhere. And more chocolate bits. You know, you could have also added like chopped pecans or walnuts to this recipe also if you want to if you're a nut fan, you wanted to add some more crunch to these and then sprinkle some nuts on top. And there you go. Banana, chocolate chip, scones or scones, whichever way you say them, they're still delicious.